Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So today we are diving into one of the hottest topic of AI. What is that? DeepSeek and its R1 model. Is DeepSeek R1 model a serious competitor to that O1 model of ChatGPT? Let's find out in this video. I hope now you are aware about what is DeepSeek. See, it is DeepSeek is a Chinese company, AI company, which focus or which develop LLM models, large language models or AI powered solutions like uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT, something like this. And they have started this as a side project and now see where they are, they are I mean, today. And it is owned and funded, this company DeepSeek is funded by a Chinese hedge fund. See, can you imagine simply a hedge fund in China becomes the top competitor of OpenAI? Where is OpenAI? And it's just a hedge fund in China. It's like a finance company. This is their side project. And now they claim that their DeepSeek R1 model outperform that latest model of OpenAI, O1. I mean, let's find out why they are claiming something like this and what they are using, what techniques. And they just spend like almost $5.5 million on this model, which is a way lesser than the cost spent by on those OpenAI's model. They spend like hundreds of millions of dollars on training of these models. And they just did it. This company, DeepSeek, just did it this job in just $5.5 million. So, okay, for us, it's not just $5.5 million, but for such companies, these are like peanuts. Now, why? Like, let, let's just discuss about this thing. So, if you search on Google, like simply DeepSeek, and you will just click on the first link, you will be redirected something like this. So, it's not like that they have only this version, R1, they have their own like previous version also. AI model version like V3, V2.5. But this version, R1, this DeepSeek R1 just even like a break, breakthrough to this, this company. That's why this is now in news. So you can simply here, you can go here now and you can check, see, see the versions. V3. Directly you can access this V3 version. So if you start now, then you will get free access to DeepSeek V3 version. You can just go and check out this and see v3 v2.5 and they have compared this with the other versions like gpt4 cloudy and these llama 3.1 on different different metrics and benchmark and yeah obviously it's good their metric or their performance is really good but the thing is now if you click here so you can simply start you can simply start and you can start asking like anything what you want like like we use chat gpt same way we can use this also okay now the c this deep seek r1 this is highlighted it means right now we are using this r1 version the latest version of this latest model r1 model and it's like more of reasoning like first it will think before actually respond and same their open ai this model was doing they have introduced like open ai oven model so what they have done is they have developed a new series of ai models designed to spend more time thinking before they respond and that's exactly they have done deep seek and it's actually this is the best way they actually show that the model is thinking all the probabilities of answering your questions and then it will answer your question yeah it's taking a little bit longer but the answer is it's, I guess, way better than you ask to chat GPT. Than that. You can compare both these. Both these. And see, now, why it is, it is like, we can say this R1 is like, what technique they have used that they, this model is like equally good as their own model. And the fact is, it's having, like, it's cost efficient. So, one great point is, they just keep it, kept it open source. Anybody can access, download it, and offline also we in, on our own laptop, we can download that, that word distilled version, we can use that without any internet. Developers can like, we can play with that code and like something like this we can do. Generate like, or you can say create something new. So they have kept it open source. But open AI thing, that they're like that is like 
everything is like closed they don't provide their code and all now obviously they are like spending uh, millions of dollars so definitely they are going to do it open source but this is the like it's like a huge point because it is open source so that's why it is a seriously it's a serious competitor to that open ai o1 model now let's see if you want to check just click on that it's now live and open source and like this you will get this thing so you just click on that and see you see that this is like fully open source model and technical support distillation is also allowed so if you want to try out you can go to that chat.deepseek.com you can just click there and you will be redirected to here and you can just ask your query but let's see first see the, the, the their performance they have compare this 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 model is this blue one this is what performance of deep seek r1 and this gray one is open ai o1 model the latest one this model so see it's almost similar in this case also in this case also i mean almost see and somewhere it's definitely it's better than the open ai this one 124 like o1 model and they have allowed like distillation also six small models fully open source you can download that distilled version and we can run our own machine i'll i'll tell you what is that what the meaning of this distillation i'll i'll tell you that thing also but if you want to check what approach they have used then you can simply download their research paper as well see for more detail you can go there and here you will be redirected to this get github and here you will get this click on this readme.md and there you will get the complete thing the paper if you want to download this paper you can just click here this is the paper link and you can directly download this paper from here you can download it and you can just read this so this is how you can just read the paper also now the main thing is what they have used this reinforcement learning i'll show you i'll tell you what is this basically uh, how these llm models are to be trained with supervised fine tuning technique these are two techniques in used in machine learning and one is rl reinforcement learning now what is supervised fine tuning there they have a pre trained model and they are going to train that model on a specific supervised or small data set like uh, we have we can just train like chat gpt has been trained on a like general data set very large and now we can train that on a specific data set like related to medical text so that when you are questioning when you are you know going to question like medical related question so you will get a better answer so a specific data set related to medical on that data set also again train that model so that is known as supervised fine tuning uh, fine tuning this approach so the goal is to adjust the model to better perform on some specific task by you know refining its parameters with some label data will give and just fine tune that but other than that the second is they have used this reinform reinforcement learning rl it means like there is an ag agent it interact with the environment and then based on that it will do like some activity based on that it will uh, receive some feedback maybe rewards or penalties and based on that feedback it is going to improve its behavior that is reinforcement learning learning by doing it's like um, see in the previous case uh, in sft supervised fine tuning you can take a real life example like you have a almost like trained dog trained dog which know some basic commands and now you want to uh, you know uh, teach that dog like a specific a new trick so you are going to train that on that specific task and reinforcement means uh, like we can say it's a self driving car kind of thing or video games also so uh, we can say that uh, a rl agent can be trained to play a video game also like it will start with some little knowledge play the game then a reward some having earn some rewards and some penalties like penalty penalties like a losing health earning some points and based on that experience it now automatically learn the best technique to maximize its score automatically so it's learning by doing 
so that is reinforcement learning so automatically like it's like the model is going to fine tune based on the interaction or based on the you know feedback so they have used this this techniques that's why they are able to achieve this kind of performance in just smaller budget so if you want to read out you can just check out this research paper you can read the technique you can get it it's not that much tough you just read it and you can easily get it one more thing is this distillation distillation this is like a process you can say to train smaller models to mimic the behavior of larger model the teacher model smaller model is like student model and the larger is teacher model okay so a reasoning pattern of larger model can be distilled into smaller models resulting in better performance compared to the reasoning pattern discovered through rl on small model so like they have done this thing also so we can just download this r1 to our own machine and we can run it because obviously that larger model is going to take more requirement is definitely more like memory requirement or the you can see the gpu's requirement power requirement and that you know, so many requirements so and our laptop are it's not not, not having that that much memory we are having like 16 gb ram or gpu's are also not that much powerful but they provide distilled models so we can download those distilled models like student models and we can run our own machine without any internet right so you can just read out this research paper it's not that much like high level language paper you will easily get it now let's try out practically let's try to use this deep seek so if i ask suppose a simple question hey what to do i am getting bored let's ask it will take a little bit of time because it will think and just i'll compare this with chat gpt also hold for 12 second so this thing is very good so he is like thinking this deep seek is thinking without no, no first before giving you the response before giving you the answer okay the user is saying they are bored and asked what to do let me think about how to respond i need to come up with a variety of activities to beat the boredom so they have categorized like first creative activities learning something new activities and social stuff productive entertainment outdoor activities also miscellaneous ideas and i should also add a, like he's thinking i should also add a tip about mixing it up if the first thing doesn't work so avoid making it too long but cover enough options and something like this and now actually after that it will give you the ideas get creative move your body or learn something new and categorized this in different different categories so this is more structured answer i guess than chat gpt you can try this out chat gpt will not give you this much structured answer and see the prompt is not that much good hey what to do i'm getting bored simple prompt is this so you don't need to need to be very good in prompt but while dealing with chat gpt you have to be like very specific and you have to give a clear kind of prompt otherwise you will not get this type of structured answer and if i if i ask like one more question which is greater -5.5 or -5.11 uh, chat gpt is a little bit quick definitely like it will give at a time the answer but it is taking a longer time so see it is thinking it will show you the process also all right so i need to figure out which number is greater negative numbers can be tricky sometimes let me start by recalling how negative number works so it will show you the thinking process also now you can if you want to learn something new you can just not just the answer but you can just learn the approach also how to solve that problem so this thing is i like it i just love it this thing so the more negative a number is the smaller its value for example minus 1 is less than minus 5 in this case it will check like wait actually no wait if you go from minus 5 towards minus 6 the number decreases and see alternatively maybe converting both number to fractions second approach is also thereby converting that into fractions so see it is like <clears throat> telling you the proper approach and then it will give you the answer to determine which number is greater than this compare the absolute values decimal conversion and all the approaches and then finally the answer 5.11 is definitely greater than minus 5.5 but chat gpt will not give you this answer chat gpt uh, i just add the screenshot here you can see it has given me the wrong answer 
chat gpt is saying minus 5.5 is greater than minus 5.11 so what i like the most about it is first like it give you that thinking process second the cost uh, you almost have to pay i guess 200 dollar to go for that pro version of chat gpt but this is free completely free and it's yeah as good as chat gpt sometimes but yeah obviously for some kind of things you will not get the answer it will be like keep quiet yeah obviously it's made from china so uh, yesterday only I asked this question like I'll add that clip here do that Chinese government has access to my data just give me one word answer and at first it said yes and at the next moment the, the answer was like something like this like it's out of my scope I cannot answer or something like this and same if you ask something like this like uh, list out all the states of India then also and you check it out yourself you Try with this and let me know in comment section what you have tried, what question you have given and what kind of answer you get, some weird question or some weird answer. <laughs> so you can just let me know in comment section. So in brief, can we say it? this deep seek is a chat GPT killer? I mean, not yet, seriously, but can't say about future. But one thing is for sure, this deep seek is a serious competitor or we can say it's a strong alternative to those open AI models paid models this is free that thing is for sure i mean it's unbelievable it's just a hedge fund company in china it's giving a tough competition to open ai so that's about this in the next lecture we'll see i'll uh, upload a dedicated video how to download this distilled version of this uh, deep sea version and uh, then how to run locally on our laptop so now i'll see the next lecture till then bye bye take care